Alright guys, we're going to yet another trial. This time it's by request. Uh, Danny ONG requested on a previous video, could I please do Alferg using the Easter units? Uh, so we're going to be going into Alferg and knocking it out with all the missions, showing um, a pretty easy way to do it, team. Uh, we're going to be using C card for tanking. He's got passive provoke and just high defense and spirit. Um, if you don't have C card, you know, Danny, you didn't mention what units you have. Uh, just replace them with any tank you want. Any 7-star tank is fine. Uh, truthfully, the 10-man um, the trials are a little bit power crept. So if you've got a 7-star tank, you're pretty much golden. Uh, Fina is the healer. And again, you can replace her with any healer you want. Fina, Folka, Ayaka, Rim, uh, Myra, you know, whatever you want. Just grab a healer and go for it. Um, we're going to be using Fina with a lot of limit fill gear because, you know, she can entrust. Might be useful, we'll see. Uh, Sylvie is going to be one of the Easter units requested. She is, you know, a support. She can do all the support things. We've got her some limit fill on her as well, some resistance, etc. You know, the usual stuff. Lauren's going to be our breaker. Now you can use any breaker you want, but Lauren's kind of nice because she can chain her limit burst with uh, Esther. Now to chain her limit burst with Esther properly, you need to not be dual wielding. But I'm not really going to rely on the chaining of Esther's limit burst. Uh, with Lauren so much, so we're going to be more just using her as a breaker and support. Uh, so there you go, it's her gear. Uh, Esther is going to be the DPS. She can um, chain, she can imbue, she can do the yada yada, you know. By this point, people know what Esther does. Uh, so she just got some tankiness, some survival, some DPS, a non-elemental weapon. And the type the type 0 units are um, actually naked. They're just here strictly to fill the Esper gauge, you know, no gear, no gear. And these are just optional. You don't have to bring these if you don't want to. Uh, you would just have to fill the Esper Gauge with, like, you know, a Summoner. If you've got Ico, she's a great choice here. She can fill the Esper Gauge. But, you know, whatever, whatever. All right. So we're going to get into it with Alferg. Now, the first turn, he's going to um, do a big, strong AoE physical attack. But you'll notice the way I'm doing it here... Uh, I'm going to just face tank it with my, my units, and I think it'll be fine. So actually, we're going to hide the two the two DPS and breakers, because for one thing, the boss imbues on his first turn, and I don't want, I don't want my DPS imbued. So C card is going to uh, break the boss with full break charm. Ace is going to kill himself to fill the Esper gauge. Now we're going to summon Ramu, so that's one Esper done. Rem's going to kill herself to fill the Esper Gage, and we're going to summon Titan. There's two Espers done, so the Esper mission is now complete on turn one. Now, of course, you can you can do it slower, it's fine. Now, this is going to be a hard-hitting AoE. It's going to really hurt. We're not covering it. We only got 50 percent break. All right, so that was nice of Seacard to jump in front of um, Fina. But she, she should have been fine, probably. You know, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but let's go ahead and bring our Chainers in, because the other two are fine at this point. You know, they did their duty. Now, the boss is currently, um, as you see, he is immune to damage, so we can't hurt him. So for now, Lauren is going to take over with a good break. Uh, Esther is going to, let's see, chain. And we're just going to chain Bolting Strike. Now, we're not, um, we're intentionally not, uh, what's it called? We're not imbuing her. Because the boss goes immune to lightning, and we don't want to deal with that. So Sieg is now going to cover. Sylvie is going to give us a nice stat buff with Marion Watch Over Me. And we're going to do a um, immune to breaks. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to get broken. And now Fina will heal up. And Fina will do one of the dark damages needed for the mission. Alright, so now the boss is no longer immune to damage. Oh, paralyzed. Boo. I forgot the boss paralyzes. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. Alright. So, now we're going to have Sylvie uh, triple the fun. Sylvie is going to, what's it called? We're going to, from me to you, on Lauren. 
and then we're going to cure that paralyzed and make us immune to paralyzed in the future. And we're also going to, if I can find it, we're going to give Earth Element to Lauren as well. There we go. Now Lauren is going to Here I Go, and we're going to Mystical Egg. Uh, we didn't finish the triple cast, I guess. There we go. Uh, here I go. No, there it is. Mystical Egg. And Esther is going to chain Bolting Strike. C card. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot to do right here, honestly. So he'll just... He'll wait, actually. Yeah, we'll wait. So let's go ahead and do this chain see what kind of damage we can deal. Alright, so we pushed another threshold. Uh, Fina will dual cast. Let's do the dark damage the second time needed. So the dark damage mission is complete, and we'll just heal. I guess Sacred is guard. You know, whatever. Alright, so I believe the boss did uh, his... I haven't known this boss in a long time. I mean, he imbued us with fire, and he went immune to damage. Again, I think he went into a shell. He did. Alright, so Fina is going to dual cast... Let's see, a heal. And we're going to single target the spell. And we're going to remove that fire imbue from Esther by dispelling her. So Esther is no longer fire imbued. Uh, let's see. Let's reload. And we can't hurt the boss's turns. So we're just going to hit him um, for crystals, mostly. Try to get Lauren a crystal. Oh, we didn't quite get a crystal for Lauren. That sucks. Alright, let's stylish form. And Sylvie will fun time time. Oh, Sylvie will double the fun. And I guess we will physical and magical mitigate. Oh no, we need uh, we want to resist buff. Let's double the fun and let's resist buff and physical mitigate. And Lauren will do um, tempest flash. This does wind damage twice, ice damage twice because she's dual wielding, and dark damage a bunch of times. And because she's imbued with Earth, it also dealt Earth damage. So all the all the elemental missions are now complete. All right. So the boss is no longer um, immune to damage. Let me see if I can. Uh, did he imbue me? Because he he imbues every now and then. It's kind of annoying. Adds fire element. He did imbue again. What a jerk. Uh. And he's immune to fire, so he would actually take hardly any damage if I attacked him here. Alright, so we'll have to get rid of that imbue again. So Fina will heal. Yeah, it's better to bring mages for this fight. This is really an unfriendly fight for physical units. I mean, they can work, and as you see, we're going to make them work. Let's sell that imbue. Let's go ahead and uh, chain. Let's see, here I go, mystical egg. We're going to push the threshold again. Let's charge and bolting strike. Uh, Sylvie is going to double the fun, and we did dispel Esther, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, boost defense. Let's do this on Sieg, and let's hop into battle on Esther for the buff. And I, I, I forgot, did I do Mystical Egg? Mystical Egg is a chain. Now, one thing I need to note is even though Lauren is imbued uh, with elements the boss is currently immune to, we're chaining Mystical Egg. Mystical Egg is a magical attack, so therefore it ignores Imbues, so she can still build a chain for Sylvie, even though um, the boss is currently immune to the damage that uh, she's imbued with. Alright, uh, next threshold has been pushed. This is going to be a threshold again. Let's go ahead and uh, pop a cooldown with Sieg. That was a waste, but I got, I got to dispel Esther again, because we're about to get imbued for like the 30 second time. Alright, so we're imbued, once again. Boss loves to imbue us. You know, whatever. Yeah, see, we're, in, we're currently imbued to el uh, elements that uh, we're immune to, or whatever. Uh, so let's just go ahead and... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of it with Fina yet again. So let's heal and dispel... Yeah, let's heal and dispel that imbue off of 
Sylvie again. Let's have Lauren do her limit burst to break the boss. We'll have Sylvie fun times times two. Uh, and the one that does the magical is from me to you. From me to you gives a magical chain to Lauren. So we'll do that. And we will... You know what? We'll do from me to you on Sieg as well. Just in case Sieg has a free turn, we'll just let him chain, chain instead. So we'll cover... Uh, Esther has been uh, dispelled. So we'll have Esther combat overdrive. And we don't want a storm cloud because the boss is going to be immune to, immune to that. So we'll just do this. Alright. So hopefully we can push the boss to the final threshold next turn and he won't imbue us here. So if he does imbue us, I'm going to be really sad. Alright, no imbue this round. Here we go. Outstanding. Alright. Let's push that next threshold. Uh, so we're going to here I go and Mystical Egg, which is going to chain properly. Now we can't triple cast. Actually, we can triple cast. We're going to triple cast Bolting Strike twice, and then we're going to triple cast Combat Overdrive just to um, give herself a nice attack buff at the end of the round. All right, there we go. Threshold done. No more imbues to deal with. Outstanding. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just guard C. Actually, C is going to physical cover. Uh, Fina will... Let's have Fina do a Manitopia, because no one really needs healing right here. And let's have Sylvie do a, uh, a Limit Burst. Which is going to give us a nice uh, resist buff for the final phase. Alright, so there's no more immunities on the boss. And there's Super Roar. Super Roar is just a gravity attack. It's no big deal. Alright, how's the boss's buffs looking? Um, Two more turns on breaks. Alright, uh, let me look up his thresholds again. His next threshold is at 30% uh, and 20%. 30% is going to be a gravity attack. I don't really care about that. Yeah, 30% threshold is fine. Let's go, let's go ahead and push that 30% threshold right now. So we're going to Here I Go and Mystical. Uh, Esther is going to Tempest Charge. So we're going to uh, Chain twice. And then she's going to end her turn with Shock Embrace. Because now that the boss is no longer immune to Thunder, we can... Um, oh, he has three more turns. Oh, I'm glad I caught that. So we're not going to Shock Embrace. We're just going to Bolting Strike twice and keep Combat Overdrive active. So let's go ahead and Chain this. Alright, next Threshold Outstanding. Uh, Sieg will just physical cover, I guess. Uh, we'll do some re-raises with Fina. I don't, I don't think we're going to need it, but, you know, it can't hurt. And this is going to be a stop on this turn. So we're going to give a stop immunity. And we're going to give, we're going to refresh the uh, paralyzed immunity of Sieg Hark. I forgot to give him paralyzed immunity, but, you know, Sylvia doesn't mind. Alright, so this is going to be the next threshold. All right, it's a gravity attack, by the way, so don't 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 mind that. It's water attack too, and I'm not currently immune to water, but whatever. Uh, so we need to. I think we need, think we need to break the boss actually, don't we? Doesn't this break wear off like right now? Yeah, his break's gonna wear off. Um, I could push the threshold and possibly be okay, but nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Why risk it? We're we're, we're plenty ahead of schedule. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's have Sieg pop. Um, let's have Sieg pop his magic cover. This actually, this actually doesn't work out pretty well. Uh, yeah, magic. Let's, let's do Sieg's magic cover. This is gonna work out really well, actually. Uh, let's have Esther pop her limit first. It's not gonna chain right now because she's not. Um, it's fine. It might even push it. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. By herself, push the next threshold. Doesn't even need a chain. All right, we're good. So let's dual cast. Uh, let's do a heal and let's do a re-raise on Sieg. And Sylvie will. Let's fun time times two. Uh, I keep forgetting which one with magic one. The magic one is from me to you. So that's from me to you on both of these people. All right. So this is going to be a bunch of um, 
magic attacks, but we're covering we're covering magic with Seeing. That, that's why we did that. All right, so Seeing survives, but even even without dying, even better. All right, Esther, let's go ahead and Tempest Charge, the Bolting Strike, and at this point, we're gonna Shock and Brace at the end of the, at the end of the, the combo, because the boss's Thunder Immunity should have worn off by now. One more turn, that's fine. So it's gonna it's gonna imbue her if we don't just straight up kill the boss here, which we very well may. Well, we did. Okay, there we go. So there's a way to do Alferg, all missions. We did do all missions, right? I'm fairly certain we did. So we summoned Ramu and Titan. We did it in 30 turns, and we did Ice, Wind, and Earth Dark Damage twice. So the Dark Damage was double cast in Bio twice. Earth Damage is because we imbued um, Lauren with Earth for one turn with Sylvie. Wind was the Tempest Flash with Lauren, and Ice is because Lauren is wearing an Ice Weapon. We did all missions. All right. Uh, so there you go, Danny ONG. Hopefully this has been helpful. And again, I don't know what units you own or don't own. All you said was please do it with the Eastern units. I use the Eastern units. And again, you can replace C card, Lauren, and Fina with any tank breaker and healer you want. See you guys later.